Welcome to Below Deck Crew Ought to Know, presented by State Farm. Say hello to the Below Deck people. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey. Hello. I feel like we're at an international summit right now. Yeah. Where, where are you all coming from? New Zealand. Yeah. Spain. I came from London. Yeah, I'm London. Fort Lauderdale. Switzerland. Wow. Cool. Well, I came from downtown Manhattan, so we, we all nice. traveled to the party here. <laughs> um, this show has obviously exploded since it started on Bravo. <laughs> Were any of you watching when it first started? Were you fans from the start? Sure. No, when I... <laughs> Gary, for sure. No, I didn't even know it was a show when I applied for it. No. Oh, that <laughs> um, no, when I joined Yachting, when I joined Yachting, um, it was like a career ender if you went on below deck, so I didn't think I would ever do it. And then my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, pissed me off, so I was like, OK, I'm going to apply. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it. So when you find out that you're going to do it, do you do the homework of watching past seasons? Did any of you like binge below deck seasons past before doing your season? Yeah, I watched season five. Yeah, to see how to do it better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't do anything better. But... Yeah, you just go in blind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. I had watched it, but I definitely yeah. think I think you should go in and be yourself. Yeah, that's what yeah it's definitely easier going best. in blind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as Courtney says, everyone's like, you're going to ruin your career and rah, rah. And well, that's like, if you're I want to be a stewardess till I'm 50. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is a way better career. I'm way happier being here, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we are at BravoCon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, this may sound like a very silly question, but do you still work on boats when you're not shooting below deck? Yeah. 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 I mean, I dabble these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, I do temp work. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I do temp. Well. Yeah. I still really like money, so yeah. I still yeah. do it. Yeah, that's a temp thing is the yeah. way forward in life in yachting. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to imagine booking a yachting trip and then showing up and oh, wow. Fraser or Daisy or Courtney is working on the boat. What is it like when people recognize you but you're not shooting the show? Yeah. Well, Z well, gets that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so his, his, his captain loves the boat. <laughs> Because I worked in Parsifal for a bit, and we had guests that um, didn't, it, it, were like very anti the show, and I think they fell in love with me by the end of it. So it was, it yeah. was pretty cool. I think they were like. Did they know you were from the show? They did, and they were not happy. They were like, <laughs> well, basically, because they know that people have had sex in the cabin that they're chartering. Um, so <laughs> it was kind of awkward. But yeah, I think they kind of fell in love with me. So. Yeah. Well, and I think because Yachty, I feel like it was the culture that Yachty's used to be very anti the show. But now I get just as many Yachty's as non Yachty's being like, oh my God, like I love you, it's yeah. so exciting. <laughs> so it's like, it's, I think it's become so big and people love it yeah. so much that even our own people like us now. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, at one point. Yeah. We're accepted in our own yeah, yeah. We're accepted. Yeah. <laughs> at, at one point, if like you were in if you were in yachting like properly and you were on below deck, then you were just like people just didn't take you seriously like for a little bit. Mm. There was definitely a time when it was like that. It was like an mm. embarrassment to say that you'd like done on below deck. I mean, we still. But now, like, that. but now they're like, now they love it. Now they're like, oh my god, how do I get on it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah now you want to be on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We made this. <laughs> people want to join yachting because they've seen below deck. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. And you get yeah, so many do. messages of DMs being like, how do I join the industry? Yeah. This and that and. It's actually a good thing, you know? Yeah. It's broadened people's horizons because not yeah. many people know about the industry. Yeah. And it's not a bad place to work in. Yeah. I'm, I'm used to this because I live in New York City, but a lot of people who watch the show are astonished that you're living in such tight quarters. Um, <laughs> how, how do you handle that? Like, what is the adjustment to, to getting used to sharing such a tight closet space with somebody else? We're used to it, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. Which yeah. makes yeah. us such I'm, good friends. I'm a horrible yeah. cabin maid. I think you have to be comfortable, oh, comfortable so with nakedness, <laughs> I think. Like, if I'm in my cabin, then my cabin mate have, has to be okay with me being naked most of the time, because I just, if I'm changing or fake tanning, then like, I can't deal with like clothes, so the girls just gotta be okay with it. But Nat was great, so that was fine, <laughs> on the last and one. I, I went to boarding school. Yeah. Same thing. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah, it was and but I, also, like, we know what we're getting ourselves into. Yeah. We know when we're yeah. yeah. cabin, there's no shock when you get there. You're just like, oh, another bed. Yeah. Another really... <laughs> Hoping, and when, hoping our, you get when, you kettle, off, when else do you yeah, get to no. bunk with someone? It's something you yeah, do as a kid, yeah. and I love it. You Me know, too. someone's just about to sleep, and I'm like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love sleepovers, so it's really nice. Yeah, I love it. 
I think a lot of people can't get over the bathroom being so close to where you all are sleeping. That's <laughs> such a tight space. I think oh that's God. probably the barrier a lot of people would have to Oh my God, that's the least of my worries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom thing. Oh. Oh. Close to no. the no. Shower, go to the close toilet, brush. Close to the, the toilet, close to the oh. cabins, maybe? I'm a dirty bitch <laughs> anyway. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I think some, some toilets are so small in your like um, crew cabins, like, like if you're on the toilet, you can like put your feet in the shower as well. So like that's how small sometimes they have been. <laughs> I mean, it's quite good sometimes. <laughs> um, I, I know another thing that a lot of people are fascinated by with the show is just how hammered you all get. After, <laughs> um, after us? Yeah. Us? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're all kind of half cooked right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always sober. <laughs> I've been sober for the last. Hmm. We've had people yeah. running around being like, stop drinking. I'm like, I need a drink. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is a lot. This is intense. I mean, I can't imagine being alive the next morning after watching how much some of you guys drink, but you have to actually get up and, you know, change over the boat and, and work a whole, a whole voyage. How do, you, how do you do that when I imagine you're not feeling in top shape the next morning? You've like, vomited oh. into the pantry bin. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's a testament to your work ethic, though, you know? Work hard, play hard. We yeah. all like to have a good time. We're confined in these areas, like you say. We work long hours. Don't get to spend much time ashore, so, you know, you've got to make the most of it when you can, and you've got to suck it up, really. Because we do go out and binge drink, as you say. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But it's how you can work with a hangover that defines your work ethic. And yeah. I think yeah. most of yeah. you <laughs> Are very good at working with a hangover. Yeah. It's, what, it's what you class as binge drinking as well. Like, yeah, that's just terrible. a normal night for us. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. It's good. That's I mean, uh, and when anyone drinks that much, it leads to some embarrassing moments. Um, our embarrassing yeah. moments aren't captured on camera. Um, so it's uh, one how's our? <laughs> oh, oh, please don't show embarrassing moments. <laughs> like, oh, no. Um, but I, Do it! <laughs> what's been your most embarrassing moment that you've seen yourself on camera doing? Let's start with Aisha. Ooh, oh, probably when I hadn't had a wax and I spread my legs and I had a lot of pubic hair coming out and I looked down and I, and I realized I had all this pubic hair there. So then I started Stop. playing that. Stop. 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 I'm curious if you all have opinions on who has the hardest job. Is it, is it the bosun? Is it the I, chief stew? <laughs> the first mate? Who, who do you think? Let's go down the line with Fraser. Who do you think has the toughest job on the yacht? I'm biased, but I also think it's true. I think interior definitely have the hardest job. I think, I, I, think, I think the I'm chef, the, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Right, yeah. I'm, look, the chef I'm works incredibly hard, but I have never had to deal with people like I have on Blow Deck. Mm. I, I don't think, I don't know if Aisha and Fraser can agree with me, but I have never had to manage, and I've been Chief Stew for a long time, it's managing these idiots. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> full idiot mode. Talking about you girls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, jokes on you. No, 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 no. It, it goes right from the captain to the primary, to the bloody deckhand, to the junior suit. I'm like, oh my God, these people are doing my nothing. So yeah, they... I mean, yeah, I've done obviously both stewardess and deckhand and I feel like, I feel like Chief Stews had to have it a bit harder. Oh wow. I do, mm. like obviously being a deckhand and like being a bosun, it's hard to manage like, cause there's anchor watch. I feel like it's a bit more dangerous what you're managing, but then I feel like actual being a Chief Stew, like dealing with like the bull that yeah. they get. Like, you need a full and also, psychological like, this, degree. Yeah, 100%. like it, it's intense, like the that yeah. they have to deal with. Yeah. But the stews as well, like, yeah. Well, you're, you're, yeah, you're just so trying to deal with 50 million with things. And it's like, they're like, at one time, yeah. and your brain is like, I'm mm. that. Yeah. I, I so, think it's, it's a the, lot. Yeah. I think the chef, because the chef's yeah. like, Whoa. doesn't have I a promise, team, he's by himself. I promise you, the chef, physically, but that's their really job. difficult, but, <laughs> but they get to do by themselves. It's the working with people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's working yeah, with the chief juice. Getting them to do. Oh! Carrie, you are <laughs> nothing without <laughs> me, so pipe down in the back. Oh. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> I mean, you know, one thing that doesn't have to do with keeping track of many tasks at once is um, Anchor Watch. Is it as boring as it seems yes. when we're watching yeah. it on? It is. Yes. Oh. 
I mean, what do you do to pass the time or to keep yourself from well, you going crazy with boredom? You can't do anything. You're not allowed to do anything. <laughs> yeah, you're not meant to, to just do anything. Stare. You're just, you're just meant to sit there. Outward. I definitely have a score for Instagram, though, like, not yeah. sometimes. <laughs> I, yeah, it's not a good thing. But, I mean, it's really hard to, like, stay, like, just doing nothing without falling to sleep. I can fall to sleep anywhere, so, like, for me, I'm, like, nodding off at every moment. I shouldn't say this, like, I'm not, go I'm not, I'm not gonna get a job after this. <laughs> so maybe staying awake during Anchor Watch is actually the toughest job on this show? Probably. Trip. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'd say that. <laughs> um, Sleep all day, watch all night. You know. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Oh. Well, yeah, that's fine when it's like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've seen many of you uh, attempt to have a, a romance with a fellow crew member. Let's clarify, you attempted with me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but, but do you think it's possible to have a successful romance with someone else you're working with? No. No. What? <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> the guys are like, yeah, chicks are like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, what a... I think you can. I mean, we keep watching, hoping that one day we'll see. Yeah. That's why I keep it watching, is. bro. Have... <laughs> I'm hoping it happens, but... Have you two ever slammed, or...? Oh. What? Well, I just want to... Oh. Everyone wants oh. to know! <laughs> That's a, a very... I reckon they definitely have. Me and <laughs> Gary don't kiss and tell. I'm not having sex with so many hairs like that. I'm sorry, Gary, no. He knows I hate his hair like that. I'm like... Lies. Lies. <laughs> Um, I'm going to hard pivot to a... <laughs> um, you know, Z, we, we had a rare um, experience watching Below Deck this season where um, it was scary. Uh, there was a really intense moment where the stabilizers failed. Um, what was it like to, to handle that? Like, have you dealt with situations like that in the past? Felt like a sailing boat. Didn't yeah, it? I felt like I was gay for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, but it was, it was very, very intense. I don't think that's very, very common, obviously. My dear at home was a hybrid, so I think going into a different mode made things quite, quite difficult. Is that the most intense thing that you've um, had to deal with? Um, no, I'd say guess over stabilizers. <laughs> <laughs> I think that goes to show yes. how tough it is. Stabilizers. <laughs> um, and I know, uh, obviously, Z and Courtney, you had a little bit of flirtatious energy in your last season. As much as Z would love, I, it's a, uh, it was definitely a tequila romance, I'm sorry. But we're best friends, that's way better. Like, at least it'll never be awkward and we can be friends forever. Imagine if we hooked up and then, like, now we weren't friends. No, like, that would be so best sad. Friends can be good. Yeah, best friends is way better, I promise. Sorry, Liz, <laughs> Yeah. So, so Coco and Maverick didn't try to reignite anything. No, yeah, maybe this Coco and Maverick, you know, like, but they're a different, they're a different species. They are different people. <laughs> Coco Co and, Co and Mav are different people. Yeah. It's not Z. It's Mav. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your code name? Yeah, it's alter also... Ego. Oh. Dirty alter ego. It's also a strip club <laughs> in South Africa, so when he said that his, his name was Maverick, I was like, what? But it's, you know, <laughs> we go with it. <laughs> um, in this season, did you both know that you were each being considered to be lead deckhand, or is that something you found out while you were watching? Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, Storm kind of gave us a bit of a warning um, that he had to kind of, that he was deciding on someone. But we didn't know that he was going to do it, and like we were all half cut, like on a night out. Sounds um, like my tactic. Yeah, <laughs> it was just—it was a bit wild, to be honest. But I mean, I can understand why he did it. Like, it, yeah, I think he was scared to tell either one of us, like that we weren't going to have it. So I can understand, like, but obviously, yeah, it caused some friction between some people. Yeah. But. And Z, you obviously seemed a little disappointed to not get the deck hand, but also very happy for Courtney. How did you handle that situation? Um, I care all the world for courts, so to see her succeed is always amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Z. <laughs> yeah. um, and Courtney, you came into the Charter um, late, later this season when you joined. What was it like to come into that sort of environment after everyone had already been on for a little while? Um, yeah, it was hot. It, um, I mean, I was definitely nervous, like, I was really nervous, especially after with the season before, like, obviously, a, like, so a couple of people came on late and we kind of found it hard to, like, like, mingle with them. Um, but I feel like if you just kind of put in effort to, like, get on with people and, like, obviously put in that work, then you're always going to be fine, like, with any job. So, yeah, I was really nervous, though, like, I was... <laughs> 
Seeing my pants walking on, but I also knew that Z, well. Z and Captain Sandy were on there, so I was like, okay, I think I'm okay. <laughs> like, they're, they're my buddies. <laughs> and you've now done interior and exterior. Yeah. Do you have a handle on which one that you like better or that you think you're better at? Um, I mean, I think I'm great at both, but I'm joking. <laughs> no, um, I Modest definitely... I, <laughs> no, I prefer, I prefer deck, for sure. I like being outside and, like, doing, like, the water toys and the jet skis and just... Yeah, it's just, it's just me personally, I prefer it, but, um, yeah, I mean, I like both, but, yeah, yeah definitely, uh, yeah, if I was going to be in yachting more, then it would be deckhand. Um, and, and Z, forgive this bit of a shady question, but... <laughs> we love a shady question. How would you, how would you rank Reagan as a bosun on a scale from one to oh, ten? Oh, wow, that is shady. Gary, can I have a guai? Can I have yeah. a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, shame. I don't think she was qualified for the job that she was doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the stage. Welcome to the stage, Oregon. No. Um, that, that's a very fair answer. Yeah, she wasn't qualified. I don't think she was qualified for the job that she was assigned. Yeah. Unfortunately. Fake until you make it. Mm. Amen. And exactly. she didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. Gary, first of all, your hair is just like a natural wonder of the world, what? and it's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just watched it. <laughs> <laughs> as, as I'm now witnessing in person, um, your flirtatious ways have uh, caused... Man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the wrong person, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. Um, Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> um, but uh, two other people have caused um, a little bit of drama on... Um, on the boats. What is it like for you to see that play out after the fact and to see sort of the, the havoc that it wrought? I guess knowing that I'm not the only one makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> but I mean, you gotta have fun. As long as you treat people with respect. Um... <laughs> <laughs> is, that what um, is that what you do? You treat people with respect? Do I not treat you with respect? You're doing great. Yeah, <laughs> No, it, it Actually, let me rephrase that. I demanded. It's funny. Reply. It's funny. Games till someone gets hurt, and then. Uh, <laughs> and Did you watch the you... same show that was a wrestle? <laughs> no. <laughs> Daisy, please. Sorry, I'm gonna thank start. you. Gonna be quiet. It's my moment to shine. Um, <laughs> um, well, I mean, as you heard earlier, clearly everyone is uh, a fan of a uh, Gary and Daisy uh, relationship. Uh -huh. I know you're getting to win. <laughs> 24-7 on the boat. It's, yeah, it's really tiring. God. <laughs> oh, my name is Gary, not God, but thank you. Um, a lot of people are also just very interested in what happened the night of the hot tub experience. Um, was... I, I remember it clear as day. Daisy, not so much. Huh? It's like a vivid memory to her. Definitely less drunk than I was. Should we reenact it, Daisy? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <I'll play. laughs> he wishes. Yeah, I felt, yeah. Um, felt what? <laughs> well, you know, I was just trying to enjoy a hot tub, enjoy with Daisy. So it, All nobody... of a sudden, Daisy was like attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> so what, oh, Daisy, no. What actually I mean, didn't make the cause, never... which is my favorite thing, is when it originally was in the scene and then it got taken out. Was Gary got out of the hot tub super sad, as everyone saw. Yeah, because you ran away from me. And he was stood by the. He was. Yeah, it was sad. I felt sad. I, I, I wanted to go back in time and go kiss him again. I was like, oh, don't. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> what? Shit. He, he, he got up and ate a cucumber with the wrapper on it still. I was like, yeah. I was like, don't care. And apparently, he had the scene ever. He was just like, and I just ate this cucumber with the wrapper on it. With the wrapper on? Yeah. He you was know, so sad he couldn't even yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. So I was sad that didn't make the, the cult. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys want to... So who thinks Daisy and I would make a good tonight. couple? Just show <laughs> her. <laughs> wow. I mean, the... clearly no one does. <laughs> the last we saw you, you on Bravo was when you were in London and you were both in the same apartment, so mine's oh. still great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll be the first below deck 
marriage, you know. You could be its own spin-off series. I know. I, I do it for a spin-off series, for yeah. sure. <laughs> um, we do have a bit of a surprise. Um, <laughs> Kyle and Chef are here. If everyone are welcome to the, yeah! to the stage. Hello. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having us. Oh, my God. This is outstanding. Thank you so much for having us. Of course. Yeah. I mean, we were just talking about who has the toughest job on the on the ship, and everyone pretty much said the chef. Would you Would you agree? Not anymore now that he's here. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it was uh, an incredible journey. So, but basically. Kyle has took the limelight all night, so I basically... I don't know what he's talking about. I feel like I really did try match and be not seen. <laughs> <laughs> I think I succeeded. Yeah! Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Cover girl, put the bass in the walk. Head to toe. Make your whole body <laughs> talk. <laughs> So, so basically, all afternoon, everyone thought I was his security. <laughs> <laughs> so, just hiding in his shadow. <laughs> you're doing great, Dave. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, I wanted to take this platform and be serious about that, you know. I know it's been spoken about before, like having representation of the LGBTQIA plus community, having Sandy been represented. But um, before my season... <laughs> before my season, I um, managed to watch Fraser, and we never met. <laughs> and I'm so glad we're taking over. <laughs> Yeah, Aisha, you, you're, an, you. you're an ally. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Fraser, what has been your experience with that, with the, um, being a rare example of an LGBT um, person working in the audio industry, um, and now um, yeah. being a very public face of that, too? Yeah, it was, um, it was tricky at the beginning. Just joining yachting, being gay, when I joined, I didn't know any other gay people in yachting. And we certainly didn't know any male stews. So I had two hurdles. Um, I kept quiet about, you know, my personal life and just did the job as best as I could. And, um, you know, hopefully we're all going to be surrounded by people who are all accepting and all inclusive always. <laughs> when I would work on Arabic boats because they're not allowed to see women. Right. And yeah. so you'd have male stews on Arabic boats. And that's the only time I saw them, but you'd never see male stews on normal boats. Right. I've also you know. met people, I haven't worked on the boats, obviously, because I'm a female, but I've met um, all male boats because the owner said the women cry too much. Right. And I was like, yes. I always cry. Too much. Yes. I always cry. Also, he just made the women cry. Yeah, we're crying. Nothing wrong cry. with men crying, trust me. I cry all the time. Say that right now. It's a strength, not a weakness. So it's cool. I love seeing it. It's awesome. great. Yeah. It's so cool. Um, I also have to ask, Fraser, we, um, we all got to watch Kyle fall in love with the crew member. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> what was your uh, take on Frank, I love you. It was a lot. <laughs> How did you feel watching that, Fraser? Great. I mean, our guests are off, you know, <laughs> off, off the market usually. But you, you did us proud there and went for it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I've just always been... The first, all the boats I've ever worked on quite literally tell us that if you have any relationship, whether that's even a friendship, let alone anything more with anyone, you're off. So I just never saw that. Or I never had the opportunity to fall in or fancy anyone yeah. who was a guest. Um, but good for you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, honestly, like Fraser's been saying, it is um, a situation where... <clears throat> I didn't know about the New York gays until I found out about the New York gays, let me tell you. 
I mean. They hit their friends. <laughs> um, but all jokes aside, it was a situation where I was there heavily falling in love with someone, but it wasn't... Are you good? <laughs> I mean, Kyle, 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 it was one day. Whatever he's having... You've known him for one day and you were falling in love. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. At that moment, yeah. I was like, yeah, you know what? This I is know, a, this is a thing. I know, kiss running out of a van. I, I mean, like, I was that. Yeah, I was all for it, but I mean... But I loved it. It was 24 hours, But you know hours, what, he's so everyone. sweet. I mean, Courtney met him, Z met him, Dave met him, so it was a really good group. And um, he's very charming, but I am thankful for the fact that I came to New York City, I spent a week here, and I actually found the love of my life during this journey. And, and he's, he's in the audience he's somewhere! Amazing. Zachary! Oh, Zachary! Music. Zachary! Music. Look at that handsome man! Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can confirm he's amazing! Oh. Yeah, so I'm fortunate for that, but you know what? I never knew limitation to that. All that I said was, I have to be respectful during the job part, but after hours or after hours, and the fact that Frank was interested in a plus-size model such as myself, <laughs> um, as opposed to skinny legend Fraser over here, you know, normally what people would go for is the gorgeous Fraser, and I don't blame him or anybody else. So I was like, whoa, what does this guy actually want? Because my bank account hasn't got three digits in just yet. So I'm like, what is it all about? So, yeah, I had a great time, Frank had a great time, um, <laughs> and moving on swiftly, I'm happy enough. We have an exclusive trailer for Low Deck Season 10. I think I'm schwitzing. New location. New boat. God damn it! New crew. Wakata. New everything. Need to just get more drunk. <laughs> Maybe yachting's just not for you. That's like my vibe. I love drinking. <laughs> Am I extra? seems to have lost consciousness. Just like let him go. It's supposed to be five stars. <laughs> and it feels like three to me. The clock is a dickin' and the sh is about to thicken. You look very namaste. I do like to frequent intimate relations with the opposite sex. A week with no sex for me is really hard. Oh. You got one of them. Oh, f you love. Someone was just kissing Alyssa. I warned you all. You don't know what you're in. Are you trying to go to the bathroom? I just want to pee. They have literally no brain cells. Who is going to come and take my boss? Is he my boss? Welcome to the circus. We are going to work your asses to the bone. We're going to lose this one quickly. What the f is he doing? Can you be a bit more erect, please? Not embarrassed yourself. Why am I doing all the f***ing dishes on the yacht? I'm gonna spin it exactly up in my pants, because this bitch don't feel zero. Some things are, like, amazing and some are not. I've got a pocket full of plane tickets, but I have no problem handing out. Yes, bro, I love this bird. Good day. Everybody literally is like, we need somebody faster. Then you can do it. Oh, she was talking on me. Oh, you don't like each other. Yeah, don't give a yeah, you can go a bit harder than that. Oh, no. my weird claws off. Somebody's jumping in to get it. Mine's there. My heart's there. My body just won't cooperate. We're gonna do it. <gasps> so I made a decision. Is going on up in town. Oh, no. oh, yeah. 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 That didn't look dramatic at all. So 
Um, I don't know if you all caught on, but uh, we just saw Chief Stu Fraser. How was the promotion treating you? Pardon me? How did the promotion treat you? Um, fine. I was more in charge of him than anything, so, yeah, yeah took over. Became the biggest bad as <laughs> Again. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think that you make a better Chief Stu than, um, than Heather? <laughs> Heather who? Heather who? <laughs> um, Heather taught me so much. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. And we had our indifferences, um, but we're good friends. And I have to say that I owe a lot of my experience and where I am today to what she taught me. Woo! Yeah. Um, what, is the, what is the biggest difference, Aisha, between working for Captain Sandy and the love of my life? <laughs> <laughs> The love of everyone's life. <laughs> oh, guys, um, I want him. I think the biggest difference was just Cap Sandy and I. She's an incredible captain, and I really respect her. Um, but we definitely had, you know, like the captain stewardess relationship. Whereas Jason, I kind of treat like I've got so much respect for him, but I kind of treat him like my fourth stew. You know, like he's, <laughs> he's a brother to me, and he's like he's so ADD, he can't sit in the bridge, and so he's just always there. Like, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? So you know, I get him to decorate and empty the bins, and he's just so insanely helpful. I feel so grateful to have him in my life. Really, oh. yeah. He's, he's, he's so supportive, and he's such a good friend. Aisha, we all feel the same about Jason. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how, was it, um, how was the transition to Chief Stu? How are you handling that after a second season now? Oh, the second season, holy, it was so much easier than the first season. Obviously, it's still very hard. Like, it's a lot of work. But I think the first season, I'd, I'd filled in as Chief Stu before, but I'd never done a whole entire season. And doing that whole season, with like a real good chef. And the shoe, one of the shoes that I got, it made it very, very stressful. So the next season, um, I just, being more used to the role, I found I could be myself a lot more. Mm -hmm. so and how much? Like me and Aisha were messaging about that when yeah. we were filming the second season. And I was like, oh, it's a game changer the second time you do it. Yes. The first time, it was the most scary thing I've ever, you know, I've yeah. always been well, a chef for a long I felt time. like the first season, you know, I didn't have some of the crew, I didn't have the most competent crew, and then the boat was really, really big, and then I also felt like I was, I was like, this is where I have to prove myself to Bravo. So I was very like, work, 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 yeah. and that's kind of, and I feel like it kind of drowned my personality a little bit, but in this, thank you. So this season that's coming, I am much less stressed, and the the real Aisha comes well, back out. <laughs> well, that's what I said. I was like, the best thing about the show, when people ask me, I was like, oh, completely validated that I'm always right. So the first time, I wasn't sure, yes. and then I got to watch it back, and I was like, oh, no, no, I am right. Yes. So the second time, I got to relax. Exactly. And yeah, the more of my personality. Yeah, so great. no, I had a lot more fun the second season. Well, you yeah. must you must really miss uh, Chef Ryan, though. <laughs> I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you mean, you mean <laughs> Cook Ryan? <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm being a um, <laughs> um, Don't ever apologize Chef for that. Dave. <laughs> well, um, are you all ready to play a game? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In honor of these crews always getting into a ton of mischief on the boat, let's play a drinking game. Woo! And find out about their wildest moments while working at sea. <laughs> and what will they be drinking? Espresso, Espresso martini! Bring them out! <laughs> we actually do have espresso martinis. Does anyone have espresso martinis? I think, I think Carl, I think Carl drank one. Thank you. 
So um, the, I mean, the premise of the game is um, we're playing Never Have I Ever, and we're going to ask you about naughty things that you might have done on a charter. Can we be and nice? My mum's here. <laughs> I really don't want to know some stuff. Oh, I've got some things I can tell mummy. <laughs> so, uh, so the rules of the game is if you have done the thing, you take a sip of your espresso martini. All right, so first, wait. never have I ever defied the captain's orders. Mm. Wait, do you drink if you have or you have? You have done it, you drink. No, I'm so good. <laughs> um, oh, this is a good one. I'm pretty good. I'm a uh, never have I ever snuck a hookup onto the boat. A who? Snuck a hookup oh, onto no. the boat. No, Everyone never. drink. Come on. Gary? No. I'm really on oh, no. Gary? But I'll drink the whole drink. <laughs> we got you. I'm not going to lie about it. I'd rather have. No, sorry. Wow. All well, right. that's the best thing about Captain Glenn. He's like, you live on this boat. Can we get Gary a couple more cocktails? <laughs> yeah, we need another round here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to need more drinks in this, eh? Yeah, right. I'll see you, Aisha. Um, never have I ever routed out one of my fellow crew members to the captain. Oh. Never. <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> you rat. Andy, I'll, dr I'll drink every day. I will drink every day. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get to this. We stick together. Gotta get to the top somehow. Okay, no, that was never my philosophy. I'm like, let's kill each other down in the crew mess, and she never has to find out about it. But some people yeah, but love comrades racing. Sometimes somebody needs to get fired, and yeah, that way exactly. I need to go to the captain. There you go. And get the facts. Yeah. You're no. your job. I'm not covering for you. Yeah, I'm not a facts. rat. I yeah, like, facts. But sometimes I need shit done, and if it's, you don't do it. There's too much to do. Yeah, there is. If you snack, then bugger off. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but... I spent her 90... Piss off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but a captain doesn't want to... Captain's got a lot to deal with. He doesn't yeah, and if I need them politics. fired... If I need them fired, Gary, I, I need them stuff. fired. I don't need to... <laughs> like... <laughs> no. Daisy! 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 This is why we all love her! Daisy made me spill my drink. <laughs> All right, next round is, um, never have I ever been caught talking shit about a charter guest by the actual guests. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh, I think everybody. It's everybody. On Instagram, you yeah. everybody. Oh, I, I think I know who's gonna drink to this one. Um, never have I ever hooked up with a crew member and immediately regretted it. Oh. <laughs> Some more martini. Everyone knows he's lying right now. It was it was a different crew member she's referring to. <laughs> yeah. um, next one is never have I ever hooked up with a charter guest. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I'm just saying if it wasn't on charter, are they technically a charter guest? I mean that's a technicality. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Listen, the tease is cute, but after seven tequilas, no more teasing. Just jump in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, <laughs> the next one is, um, never have I ever looked through a charter guest things. What? what? Oh, oh, that's oh, rummage oh, through oh, their oh, things. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone, rummage trying them on is the best. I use their cream. I don't yeah. 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 Have you never looked through oh, nothing? Yeah. 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 What? Have you tried on the clothes? Huh? Yeah. Have you tried you on their clothes? Absolutely. And I keep their knickers. I like to keep their undies. The second hand underwear is like, the best. They're like a $100 undie. <laughs> <laughs> just wash them. You like to keep them. Yeah. Oh, they're second like hand, they're $50. I just keep them and I say they lost them in the wash. That's <laughs> it. Oh, my God. No, this is not just it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love you. <gasps> Um, I'm a little horrified to ask this next one. Um, never have I ever peed in the hot tub. Oh, all the time. Wait, wait, I'll pee. Yeah. What else is it for? Yeah. <laughs> Eric, no way. Like, you're 
like, you guys see clips of it. We are solidly sat in the hot tub for like four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get out. Yeah. After tequila, I'll, I'll be anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went from it all the time. Where else are you going to go? Yeah. Your bathroom is like four dicks away. No, I agree yeah. with you, but the fact that you're admitting it, I'm like, yes. <laughs> Advocating for all women weeing in the jacuzzi. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Dude, dude, does it turn you on a bit? <laughs> Under that, like, surface sign, <laughs> there's, like, weeing and hands and gro I don't know. There's a lot going on. Yeah, there's Honestly, a lot going the on. only thing I've ever done in a jacuzzi was farts. What no one ever? can ever tell with the bubbles. I'm an innocent girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, the next one is, never have I ever lied to a charter guest that pretended they couldn't do something because the setup was annoying. Including? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always so just say weird. It's always weather. Oh, oh, it's always weather. It's always weather. I've never done the two of them. Can't help it. Why did you marry me? Pardon? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? What? If you want his room number. You know me too well. No, when I was new as a stewardess, if I didn't know how to make the cocktail, I'd be like, oh, sorry, we don't have what we. We don't have the ingredients on board. <laughs> and they'd be like, what? But you just made this string, which has exactly the same ingredients. And I'd be like, oh. I'm like, well, we can't make that, sorry. <laughs> and then that would be the end of it. But it was just to save my own back, usually. <laughs> I really like the weather excuse. That's brilliant. The what? The, yeah. we the weather excuse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't the weather argue with it. It's so easy. <laughs> yeah. All right, we have one more. Um, it is, never have I ever done it in the hot tub with another crew member. Wow. <laughs> Do you guys want my drink? <laughs> we did, no, we did not have sex. No. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we don't. They all, uh, everyone oh, knows. This is the reenactment of our white room. Health chemistry. That's about it, though. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I blush. You are? So everyone stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Help a brother out. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put pressure on you for, for a different context. Um, you know, we were just talking about things that you would lie to guests about, so you don't have to do, them, uh, do those things. Um, we've also seen um, you, Daisy, talk about guests and confessionals, um, some maybe not nice things about them. When you watch that back, are you ever afraid of what they might think or, um, or say about you or react? Yeah, um, I've obviously... Uh... If anyone knows, I've gotten into like a few kind of social media wars. I, I wear my heart on my sleeve and I'm extremely honest and I never want to be mean or nasty about anyone. And I think why people kind of respond to me well is because I just say what I'm thinking in the moment and sometimes somebody's an asshole. And that, that person could be me. Um, but yeah, I very much live in the moment. So reflecting back on what I say is, yeah, kind of traumatizing for me because I don't want anyone to be upset or... You know, and, and honestly, every guest we've had in Blow Deck have been really sweet in their own way. Um, but that's what's fun about the show. It's the way we talk about them behind their back. It's the whole point, Blow Deck. Well, there's, there's the whole thing of the show, though, is you've got to pretend the cameras aren't there and yeah. say what, what, what you usually say. And it's, I think it's, it's like the service the industry and why kind of everybody loves watching it is because everyone's kind of at some stage worked in a restaurant or a bar yeah. or McDonald's and we can all relate to it because you go, yes, sir, whatever you want, sir. And then you walk away and you're like, God, that guy's an asshole. Yeah. Um, so I think that's why people love it. But yeah, I, but you know what, bring the social they, media they, war. I don't care. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. have you heard from anybody in social media about something that you've said about them? Oh, yeah, we've had, I've had like full, um, had full not to name forward. anyone, Erica Rose. <laughs> Her favorite, yeah. I mean, and the word, they're honestly, they were really nice people, but you know, they use social media as a platform to get back at me, um, which is absolutely fine. Bring it on. I don't mm -hmm. care. Have any of you ever dealt with guests who were being so unreasonable and their behavior was so abhorrent that you actually just told them to F off to their faces? Yes. What happened? See it next season. Yeah. times now, like, can you just shut the f up and go and pack? Yeah. How'd that go down? I'd had it. <laughs> I'd had enough. <laughs> You'll see it. <laughs> see, second season, you're validated. You know you're right. Yeah. You're yeah, exactly. <laughs> Has anybody else at least gotten to that point where you wanted to? 
maybe if you didn't actually do I think that. more often than not it happens, mm. but it's when you learn to bite your tongue. Sometimes it's really hard, as I used to just say, you just want to tell them to shut the f up. But they are paying a lot of money to be on the boat and you've got to try a professional, no matter how they act or no matter how they treat you. Yeah. But I can imagine for stewardesses, you, you ladies are with the guests and interact with them twice as much as we are, so you have to deal with it a lot more. And I don't know how you put up with it all the time because I don't have as much of a fuse as you girls do. Um, I would tell them to f off almost on a daily basis. So I take I the head off to these. I think that's why people are kind of shocked when they watch me in the show because I'm so good at being nice to their face. Oh, so <laughs> <Wow. laughs> <laughs> kind of. No, I've had, I've, had to tell, like, I've had to tell security to tell them to like F yeah. off. Because be I've easy. been like, I've, yeah, if you're like in an uh, awkward situation, you don't want to be the bad guy and like tell them to F off yourself. And also being like a female, but mm -hmm. if you're like surrounded yeah. by three men and you're they in an uncomfortable situation, yeah, like they just all just come out the steam room as well. So all in their tiny, what, like tiny, what are they called? Whinies, like the wire fronts, you know, oh, like speedos, yeah, tiny whities, like the yeah. tiny whities, yeah, yeah tiny whities, with the whinies. Tiny whities <laughs> not whinies, sorry. Um, yeah, and they're all steamy and they're all in, like around me. I was like, Bleh. so I got security. Yeah. That's, that's, but that's usually how I do it with things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming up soon. Coming up soon. <laughs> Next there's, there's times when the guests come into the galley, especially when there's like three of them. And they try to tell you what you're doing, try to tell you what you're doing wrong, try to give you a running commentary of what you're doing. It's pretty frustrating. There's a lot yeah. going yeah. on. Yeah. There's like a lot going on. Do you want to do it? Do you want to, you know? It's like, <laughs> it's not easy. There's times then where you're like, f off. But but you you can't, can't, yeah. yeah, but you can't say anything. Yeah. What's been the most unreasonable thing that a guest has asked you for? Fraser, what about you? Mm. A lot more than the services I can provide on board. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, um, I've been uh, propositioned, uh, to, you know, yeah. to venture off um, <laughs> and into, into life. Um, but I've gracefully declined and kept my job instead. Yeah. Woo! Well, I'm so cool. Is there anything that sticks out in your minds about just like the, the weirdest or just most uh, impossible request that a guest has made? Eric oh. Rose, the first season, do you remember when the weather, it, it actually didn't really get That's aired. Right. Do you remember the weather was really bad? We had like a full, in the, the med during the summer, the storms can be really bad. And this is when she went online and she said, Captain Glenn and Daisy rocked the boat on purpose, which I mean is—they ran from one hill. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a really cool secret skill to have. If I could actually yeah, rock a 150-foot boat on purpose, but what? It, yeah, the weather was really, really bad. We were like a full-on thunderstorm, and they asked us <laughs> to move the boat out of the thunderstorm, and we're like, it's what? I was like, what? And then she asked for the slide, and I was also like, what? I want to say, it was, it was, that was a lot. That's wild. Yeah, I think she was confused where she was. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, you, when you're watching each other's shows, um, do you ever fantasize about working for any of the other captains? Like, if you had to choose another captain <laughs> to work for. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? I mean, no. I've got, I've got, a, I've got a captain that works really hard for me, so I'm keeping him. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't so much want to work for him. <laughs> I think we love Glenn. Love Glenn. Oh. Glenn is the best. Glenn, yeah, he's always got such a smile. Yeah. He seems so happy. An unreal person, yeah. Aww. I'm Captain Sandy all the way. I think she's. Facts. Yeah, she's the best. Super yeah. respectful, admirable, what she's achieved, really supportive. Yeah, and she had my Yeah, back. she's awesome. So. Yeah, she's yeah. a really motivational <laughs> person, you know. She she can actually sense when, because in, in service a lot, a lot of the girls and guys, yeah, would agree, you put up this font, and you're so used to saying, hi, how are you? But you don't feel that way. So um, Captain has the way, Captain Sandy has a way that she can actually see through you and be like, I see something's going on with you. Have a moment, and I'm here for you. And she actually cares. Totally. Like, she really wants to listen, yeah. which is really lovely. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. very supportive. Yeah, super also, supportive. she's absolutely hilarious. Like, honestly, yeah. some of the shit yeah, she, she comes is. out with, she means is. you're, like, crying on deck, like, listening to her sometimes. Well, just in general, we were with her this morning, and we were, like, had tears in her eyes from laughing so much from some of the stuff well, she was saying. Well, because half she's the time she's amazing. not even trying to be no, funny. No, she's not trying. She's so she's funny. Not, she's literally just so funny, like, yeah. some of the stuff that she says. <laughs> yeah. 
So we're all grace with great cancer. Yeah, we are. Yeah. And that's what makes the show so good. Yeah. 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 If you were going to be a charter guest, um, who would you be most excited to see working on the boat out of this group right here? I'm a big foodie, so yeah. I'm going to go with the chef. I'm yeah. going to go with Dave. I'd love to try his Yeah. Food. I reckon Gary. He seems like a fun time on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, Daisy. Well, sorry. Well, I wouldn't love it. Oh, I'm fine. I'm joking. Yeah, you're... You? Yeah, the food. Do you guys know <laughs> that Dave is, like, a world-class skier yeah. as well? You're, like... You're yes. good at everything. And when I saw how good you were at that and then saw the food that you were dishing up, you were so talented. Yeah, yeah. Like, really? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. yeah, also, when we were doing our season, he'd go for, like, jogs, and he would wear a gas oh, mask. Oh, He'd wear a gas mask. <laughs> <laughs> gas mask. Yeah, what are you doing? What He's did you like, do? It's just to keep my fitness levels up. Why did you go for jogs? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. and wearing a gas mask. He's wearing a Darth Vader mask. Yeah, like, literally, oh, Darth, Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm like, Dave, what are you doing? Like, I can't even run. And he's, like, running with this mask on. He's like, it's just to keep my fitness levels up for when I, like, climb this big mountain. <laughs> I'm like, can you calm down? You're not allowed to be good at everything. No, no, yeah, I know. It's so annoying. He's got, like, an eight-pack as well. Like, just piss off, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> show it! Show it! Show it! Show it! Show it! my phone out for that too. Before this becomes a full-on Chippendales production, <laughs> um, I just want to thank you all so much for coming and give it up to yeah. Hello.